Philippine red vented cockatoos arriving near Nara from Rasa Island at first light. Red vented cockatoos flying towards their feeding grounds. A red vented cockatoo feeding on Malungai. A long seed pod is manipulated to facilitate seed removal. This tree has been planted by local people to provide a food source for the cockatoo, as well as the leaves and pods are also used in their cooking. The red vented cockatoo is severely under threat. They have been eradicated and trapped from most of their former range with the island of Palawan being their only real chance of survival. Katala is the local name for this cockatoo. Visitors travelling out to Rasa Island to view the cockatoo. Travelling through the mangroves towards the concrete pier on Rasa Island. bringing supplies and equipment to the campsite. The warden's accommodation on Rasa Island. View from the tower on Rasa Island towards the mainland. The island supports the main breeding area which has been protected for the past 10 years. Red vented cockatoos playing on the mangroves on Rasa Island. Green imperial pigeons can be seen sitting nearby. Warden cooking with the aid of a simple kerosene lamp. The Katala Foundation has been successful in converting the former poachers of the birds on Rasa Island to become their protectors. These wardens now can earn a living protecting the rare cockatoos for the future of all Philippine people. These men now earn a reasonable living far in excess of what they could when still harvesting the nest sites each year. A red vented cockatoo could fetch approximately 100 pesos each in the local market, a mere 3 to 5 dollars by Western standards. It is illegal to trap and sell red vented cockatoos in the Philippines these days. Walking on the raised coral island can be quite hazardous especially away from established tracks. A cockatoo at nest 54. Most cockatoos actually enter the nest backwards. Cutting a vine near nest 41, which is then fashioned to become a safety harness by the wardens. The vine is twisted in opposite directions at each end. This technique then converts the woody vine to be more rope-like and pliable. The designated tree climber then makes a harness which will be used at the nest entrance to secure him while handling young. The population of an original estimate of 20 birds has now reached in excess of 200 cockatoos. 
Overseas sponsors have been very generous in their support and further income is derived from fees charged in guiding and trips to the observation tower on Rasa. We can only hope that this generous support continues and that these cockatoos will be seen by future generations in the wild. Regular inspections take place at each nest to record such important information as chick growth and the health of the chicks in the nest. Nest inspections can reveal parasites such as red mite. The nests are then treated to save the chicks. At nest 41 the climbers use an adjacent tree which is covered by vines and creepers to access the nearby nest tree. This work is not for the faint-hearted. The wardens make it look easy. The warden now places the safety harness so they can use both hands to control the chicks. A small basket is used to lower the chicks safely to the men on the ground. Information and photos are taken for the Foundation's records. The future of wild Philippine red vented cockatoos. The chicks soon find their way back to the security of their nest hollow. The pair at nest 41 after the nest inspection. Okay, so ito yung katala, di ba? Oh, may pakpak? Wala, wala pakpak. <laughs> so, ang tawag sa aming proyekto ay Philippine Kokato Conservation Program, di ba? So, yung tawag sa kanya. Ngayon, ito ay pinapangalagaan. <laughs> Local children are educated by the foundation staff to highlight the need to conserve the bird and its environment. These efforts are reaping the rewards as the local community are now assisting with information and volunteers take records of sightings which are sent to the Foundation Headquarters in Nara. 
children compete in assembling large jigsaw puzzles to make this conservation learning a fun experience. After the competition, winners are rewarded with gifts and posters of the birds and their environment.